for example, there was one spiritual, very spiritual person, and he was talking about a spiritual topic. He was giving a discourse before an audience, and there was one person in the audience who started to see a sprinkling of gold dust falling on top of the head of the speaker. And uh, apparently the, the, the person observing at that particular time was partially clairvoyant. Clairvoyance, clairvoyance is like seeing beyond the physical uh, uh, frequencies. No? So she, narrate, she relate this observation to Grand, Grandmaster Cho, she said, because she was a student in pranic healing. She said, Master Cho, I saw this person, very spiritual guy. He was giving a lecture and during his lecture, he was talking about God, he was talking about the angels. And there was a sprinkling of gold dust falling onto this person. And initially she had thought it was real gold dust because there, the person was on the stage and he said, maybe someone is up there. And the gold dust looked like the glitter, you know, that sometimes you use in festivals, kids play with them. But when she asked her friends, they could not see anything. So apparently, then she realized, oh, this is energy falling. And then, uh, so she was so impressed by, by what she had seen. And she was asking Master Cho, what, what, was, what was that? And Master Cho said, oh, that's, that's gold, gold energy. And it comes uh, on to the head of spiritual people and saints are often depicted with a halo around the head because that part of their energy body, the aura, you know, that part has turned golden because of the spiritual energy that has come. And uh, after this explanation, Master Chua rolled up his sleeve and he asked the lady, can you look at my hand? And the woman said, Master, that's solid gold. It's not just gold flakes or glitter. The gold was uh, all the way down to the bone marrow. So she was touching the, to test and see. Master Cho, it's in the energy, it's not in the uh, physical body. So in the teachings of Master Cho, uh, in Arhatic Yoga, uh, we are taught that the aura, the etheric body, turns golden, turns golden. Uh, through certain practices which involve a lot of energy. So movement of energy in the body, uh, moving the energy from chakra to chakra, and um, uh, using uh, prayer to bring in additional energies, using uh, mantra to bring in additional energy. So all of these techniques combined help to accelerate the production of what we call the golden body. And when a person has a golden body, there are traditions in India, rumors, that talk of yogis with golden bodies. And there's one in particular called Babaji, who is also known as the youth of the youth of 10,000 summers or something like that. The youth of 1,000 summers or something like that. But if it is 1,000 summers, that's like 1,000 years, no? Um, even assuming you summer in the north and in the south hemisphere the same year, that's still 500 years. So apparently Babaji was um, like a very long-lived uh, uh, yogi and he's famous for having a golden body. And this gives us a clue as to what the golden body does. The golden body uh, facilitates the assimilation of the life force, the life energy, the prana from the surroundings facilitates the assimilation of this prana and distribution into the physical body. And the result is that the because of the regular and steady flow of prana into the body, by virtue of having a golden aura, the aging process of the physical body slows down. And to some extent may even not just slow down but maybe even stop or I'm told maybe it reverses a little. But that is a rumor now. Uh, I have seen though, I have seen though some of Master Cho students who are young looking uh, and, and when, when you find out their age, you say, well, what? You are already, <laughs> you are already 40 years old. But they look like a uh, decade younger than what they should be. Wow. So, um, 
the importance of energy is is uh, not should not be should not be omitted. No? It is extremely important. If you have the knowledge of the energy, then uh, it, it helps with so many other things.